Hello everyone, the Theorizer here again. So I am going to start doing a weekly video thing and every Thursday, Friday, whatever day I post this on, I haven't decided yet, but you will know, because that's the day it's going to be posted on. I will post a video every week on that day, so please give your theories, because, you know, running out of them. Anyway, so today's theory is, is Yoda related to a Time Lord? Now, when I say this, I don't mean Yoda is a Time Lord, I mean related. By related, I mean how a monkey or an ape is related to a human. What I'm saying is that Yoda's race evolved into a Time Lord. We, yes, so... Star Wars is a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Now, we don't know exactly when, you know, the Time Lords came in time, but I'm taking the assumption of far, or a long time ago to make this um, prediction, or theory. So, here's what we know about Yoda. He's 900 years old, and his race is unknown. That's all we really know about Yoda. But you know what his short, stubby, weird-looking figure reminds me of? It reminds me of the doctor when the master used his laser screwdriver and he took away his regeneration process. So this is what he look, would have looked like if he was a 900-year-old man. And hey! Yoda's 900 years old, and they look very similar, the same kind of eyes, same, well, not exactly the same floppy ears, but, you know, it's probably different for everyone. So, my theory is that Yoda is a Time Lord who has the ability to live a really long time, yet his body can't handle it, and his body can't regenerate. So, that's my theory. So, now I'm going to compare some aliens that look like... Now, I only have a few because there are so many aliens in Doctor Who and in Star Wars. It's hard to find two that match. So, the first is Moss Emeta and Doria Maldovar. Now, Moss Emeta is... Um, he stands by the Chancellor's side in the first three movies. And Dorium Maldo Maldovar um, sells, or is a friend of the doctor's, and he um, he's a merchant, and he works with the headless monks, and he eventually gets beheaded, and he's just a head. <clears throat> you know what I've noticed that um, there are many blue aliens or characters in both Star Wars and. Doctor Who. I mean, they're not main characters, but I noticed there are, you know, there, there are a lot of blue people. I don't know if that's like a thing, or I don't know. And so, yes, Mass, Ma, I was going to call him Mass, uh, has horns and stuff, but what I like about this theory is they can, they only have to look similar a little bit because there's the theory of evolution in this. That's why I really like this theory that I came up with. Another one is uh, the Mocks of Balhan. Balhoon and Rapid Tuni. So the Moxa Balhoon is shown in a the fur uh when it's like five billion years in the future and the sun's exploding and uh Cassandra is like her plan is to kill off everyone. I forgot why. So the Mox of Balhoon was one of the people invited to watch the Earth be destroyed. And, um, he sits on that chair, just like rapper Toonie, he plays at the, um, at Jabba's Palace, and if you notice, they both kind of have the same body type, and they both sit on one of those little things. I don't know why rapper Toonie does that, but he can sit there for days, but the marks does it so he can survive, uh, his fluids are transferred through that box and through his body every few minutes to keep him alive. And I thought they looked very similar. And again, there's a theory of evolution in this, so... Yeah. <clears throat> and then we have Darth Maul and Banna Kafalata. I really like this one. It was funny when I figured this out, when I looked at these. So, 
Darth Maul, we do know he has tattoos on his face. So my assumption is that the tattoos are um are the are are black or they may be red, who knows. But I'm per with this I'm assuming that the tattoos are black and his real skin is red. And so he has horns at the top, just like Banna Cavalata, who is also part of cyborg, but that's not part of it. And uh you know, he has spikes coming out of his head too and he's red. You know, I thought it was kind of funny because, you know, this is a Sith Lord we're talking about. And then, you know, a hero, kind of, who saves everyone. And we like him. <sighs> May you rest in peace, Ben and Kafflanda. And then finally, the Jawas and the Headless Monks. So the Headless Monks have no head. But they don't like to show that they have no head. And we never do see the Jawas' faces. Huh? Huh? So, what if those, uh, their eyes are just lights, or, you know, who knows? Maybe they develop to not have heads, but I do, I did notice they always wear robes, and may I point out that the swords of, um, the headless monks look very lightsaber-ish, red, they're evil, they, they cut off people's heads for Christ's sake, I mean, they're red, like, it's red force, like, maybe, like, the dark side? Who knows? So that is all for this theory. It's a bit short. So, if you have any other theories, please, please, please tell me. I am always open. And, hey, we hit 10 subscribers. I know it's not too many, but I think it's a milestone that should be appreciated. Try to get, let's try to hit 100 next. Or 50. 50. Let's try to hit 50 next, everyone. So click that subs get someone to click that subscribe button. Or if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, please. Alright, thank you very much. Tune in next week for another Theorizer video.